After just over 86,000 years, Arcane Season 2 has finally hit Netflix. But they're not going to give us everything at once. <laughs> no, 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 no. Why would they? I've already waited this long. Might as well stretch this out all month. But what do we have here are three merciful episodes that we get to watch and enjoy. I did watch them. I did enjoy them. And now I'm going to give you my thoughts in a spoiler-free video. Let's begin. Before I jump in, if you wouldn't mind quickly hitting the sub and notifying yourself of future videos with that little bell icon. I don't, I don't actually know where it's at. Uh, that way these will show up in your feed. Because I do lots of movie reviews, I dabble into the TV show experience every single week. Lots of content. After an agonizing wait for several years, we finally have been gifted season two of Arcane, and so far, so star. When we left this uh, tight-knit family, we saw Jinx lovingly shoot a shark rocket into the council, blowing the place to pieces. Or at least we think. We don't actually know because they teased a cliffhanger. But we find out that is exactly what happened. This place is in ruins. Who survived? Who didn't? Oh, well, you have to watch to find that out. That would, that would be what we would consider a spoiler. But I can tell you this, the first episode's gonna take its time. Mourning some loss, mourning some of the events that took place. And we're going to have a 40 minute episode that's going to kind of slow burn things. The show has never been interested in sprinting to the finish line. It likes to build things up slowly, carefully, meticulously laying out characters, plot points, and then building upon them and building upon them and boom, knocking it out of the park. And with these three episodes, we get exactly that. We get the fall, we get the build, and we get the promise of a very exciting final season to come. And yes, this is only a two and done situation, nine episodes in the second season, and then we're done with it. Then we move on to maybe something else from this universe based on the video game. Now to just get it out of the way, this show is still very good. All right, it looks beautiful. The music's fantastic. I love that Linkin Park is back. All right, I'm a sucker for Park. I always have been. Born out for Chester, of course. I absolutely, though, embrace the new singer, and her vocals can be heard in the first episode, which is appropriately titled Heavy is the Crown, also the name of the song that Linkin Park has on the new album, dropping November 15th, five days away from when I'm recording, but who's keeping count? I am. Probably be four days away when this goes live. Within these three episodes, we're following a lot of the same characters again. I was a little surprised by how much time was spent with Caitlyn, a character that's fine, but I, I don't, like, she's not my favorite of the series. In fact, she's pr pretty far down. Although, as these three episodes play out, her character gets far more interesting. So now I'm absolutely on board with that storyline and where that arc is going to take us. But I'm here for Jinx. I'm here for Vi. That sibling rivalry coming to a head. The muscle versus the hustle. The pain versus the gain. I'm just saying things. I don't actually think it lines up with either character that well, but, but uh, I, I really dig these two. And the rest of the supporting cast is great. I love me some Rihanna. I love me some Enrique Iglesias. I don't remember the names of these characters, so I just identify them by who they kind of look like. One of my other favorites is that old man Fox thing. I don't know what he is. I love him. He's an inventor. He's very smart. He's going to go on some misadventures. Echo is really cool. I needed a little bit more echo in these first three episodes. He's kind of pushed aside for a while. The show's not only stylistically awesome, but it's also very sharp with the dialogue and the way that these characters play things out. There's this Game of Thrones-ness to everything, where different factions are playing off of each other, making moves in the background. You got a game of chess going on over here. But it also has this like heavily inspired anime action going on. Everything is incredible incredibly dramatic. Sometimes just the action of shooting a single bullet out of a gun is taken from like 30 different camera angles, it goes in black and white, slow motion, just all these different effects. And I num 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 I eat that up every single time. So, so far, absolutely glowing review. What, what are the negatives? Well, the negative is I have to now wait another week for three more episodes and then I have to wait again for the final three. And that's a problem for me. I'm an impatient person and so now I have to just stare at that stupid Netflix poster waiting for those days to count down. Now maybe you've been under a rock and you're not familiar with Arcane, certainly not familiar with the second season, 
Should you watch it? Absolutely 100% recommend. If you're looking for an age group, it is animated, so you might be thinking, oh, it's for families and kids, and I would skew a little older. I would say maybe 10 or 11 and up. This isn't something to throw on with the five-year-old after Bubble Guppies is done. I don't actually know if Bubble Guppies is still on. I've never seen that show. It's just the only kids thing I know of in the last 10 years. I'm in touch. So, so far we have some good drama. We have some beautiful visuals. We got some kick-ass action. Vi has those cool hands again. <laughs> Jinx is making her little toys. Shit is going wild. If I were to describe the show, that would be impossible. There's just too many things going on. From the arcane itself, this magical, mystical substance that they harness for violence, to the decayment of the tree of life and hope and all the other things that are going on because of the use and abuse of arcane. The shimmer. <laughs> <sighs> the crack cocaine of this world that people get hooked on. The different factions of people whispering in the shadows, making moves. The one warning I will give you, if you have been waiting patiently for season two and you recall watching season one when it hit, do yourself a favor and watch a 10 minute recap video. Netflix put out a really cool stylized trailer that's like four or five minutes long. We ended up watching that about 30 minutes into episode one, after I got sick and tired of hearing my wife say, who's that? Who's that now? These are the main people, that's Jinx. That's Vi, are you serious? My daughter was incredibly pissed at us. She had watched season one like four times, beginning to end. She warned us, she pleaded, dad, mom, brother, please watch season one again before two comes out. We kept brushing off, like, yeah, 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 we'll get to it. We didn't get to it. And so we spent a lot of that first episode kind of miserable, watching, getting frustrated with each other because we didn't know characters, we couldn't remember plot points. It's been a while, okay? It's been like three years. Definitely bone up a little bit or rewatch season one before going to season two. It's still gonna be there for you. Two's not gonna go away. And guess what? It's not all gonna get released until the end of the month. So they're giving you some time. And I would take it. I absolutely would take it. All right, I don't actually know who this video's for because if you're on board with season one, you're already watching two. If you were unsure, I guess this is for people that skip season one. I'm telling you, this is a public service announcement. It's a really good show. It's got tons of awesome action. Stylized, beautiful surroundings that they don't just stick to one art format. It's, it kind of does the uh, Across the Spider-Verse thing where they mix it up a little bit. They have some fun. It's got tons of rich characters with nuance. They're not just one dimensional. They have motives, they have drive, they have flaws. It's great. Uh, there's not a lot of really good shows out anymore that I can think of. This is definitely one of them. And the fact that they already are saying, you know what, two seasons and we're done, when they could easily milk it out for a long time to come, I applaud them and I respect the hell out of them for doing that. All right, those are my thoughts on Arcane Season 2 so far. I'll probably be back next week. Well, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. I guess I could watch the next three and give you a spoiler breakdown of them. We'll see. If this one does well, sure, you'll see me again. Otherwise, look for a whole lot more movie reviews on films that both go to theaters and ones you can find on streaming services every single week. If you like the video, again, think of subbing, hitting the notification bell, liking this video, and please put a comment down below for the algorithm and just say, hey, I love this show or I haven't watched it. Maybe I'll check it out now and I would appreciate it. Lastly, if you really like what I'm doing here, I'm a one-man band. I have a full-time job and a family. This is a ton of work. I could really use a little extra help for the holidays. Think of becoming a patron at patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tier levels starting at just a dollar. And I can absolutely tell you it's worth it because there are a whole bunch of exclusive videos and they're great. Over 300 as a matter of fact, and every month more and more come out. So I would absolutely implore you to check it out and hopefully I see you next time. Take care.